Another look at one of our Stevenson weather screens here on the north end of Salt Spring Island. This is for accurate weather readings for temperature, minimum and maximum, because the uh, temperature should always be taken from the shade, the high temperatures. So that's a double, double louvered box, the same one that Environment Canada uses. I got that from a official weather observer many, many years ago. He uh, recently passed away, probably about maybe four or five years ago. He's probably just about 100 years old. And uh, he gave me that one, I guess, around 17 years ago. We have another one at, uh, on the south side of our house <coughs> in a, on the uh, southern slope of one of our exotic gardens. So this is in our upper garden. And uh, I like to keep track of temperatures up in this area of our garden. We have a pretty good size garden here, so they do vary the temperatures from one end of the garden to the other. This is on an upper slope, the mildest area in our garden, on our property, I would say. So inside this screen, and I do paint it every year. Keep it nice and clean and white. We open up that and then you can see what's inside. There's remote sensors. I have a lot of remote sensors. There's also a minimum maximum glass temperature gauge. And you can see the lowest temperature we've recorded here this winter. So 20 degrees Fahrenheit, 22, around 26.1 degrees Fahrenheit is as low as we've been this uh, winter and then the hottest temperature right there around 30 31 degrees uh, 31 degrees celsius so you can see on the other side is the fahrenheit 80 odd something degrees fahrenheit so um, all of these sensors match and uh, i have the uh, the digital readout um, part of it in the house so it gives me the temperature when i look in the morning uh, coldest temperatures are usually recorded in the morning. So anyway, we keep that closed there. And when the sun shines on this, it does not hit our thermometers. So that's the proper way to record temperatures accurately. Not putting your thermometer in the sun. There's no heated buildings around it. And uh, the other screen is out in the open, but I'm more interested in temperatures up in this area of the garden because we grow a lot of really marginal exotic plants. Now the lower garden's a little bit cooler because it's about another 100 foot downslope and about 300 feet away from this screen, at least. So anyway, that's the way you want to do it right there. That's a Stevenson screen, folks. And uh, that will give you accurate temperature readings right there. So do not put your thermometer in the sun because thermometers in the sun tend to heat up incredibly and are going to give you a false reading. So, And I record the weather every day. I've been doing it for at least 30 years. And, uh, and I log it in a book. So I know what it's done every day of the year here. All right. Thanks for watching.